In Dragon Ball Z, the villain Cell was one of the most powerful and difficult opponents that Goku and his friends had ever come across. Not only was his power overwhelming, but on top of that, he also possessed the abilities and techniques of the Z fighters. However, eventually Cell went on to be defeated by Goku's son Gohan after he unlocked his Super Saiyan 2 transformation. But one question fans have wondered ever since this arc came to its conclusion is why didn't Cell make use of one of Goku's greatest techniques? And what if Cell used the Kaioken? What kind of a difference would he have made? Well, in this video, we're going to break that down. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and enable notifications so you can see all of my content right away when it comes out. All right, guys, so we're going to be addressing that question of what if Cell used the Kaioken in Dragon Ball Z, and we're also going to be discussing why, in fact, he chose not to use it during the main storyline. So to join me is someone you've seen on my videos in the past who is also really a Cell expert, I would say, and his name is... Hey, guys, what's up? It's Josh from Dragon Ball Nation here, and you know, I gotta be on a video talking about Cell. You can't not have me here. Yeah, it's an unwritten rule just has to happen but you know this has been a really big question as i've said since really dragon ball z came to its conclusion especially during that saga and many fans have wondered why didn't cell use what could have perhaps been his biggest trump card in the kaioken because really if cell was overpowered and he possessed that move you know why couldn't he have just amped up his power to where he suddenly has the edge once again and it really is an interesting question but Josh what do you think about this first off I guess do you think Cell had the actual ability to use the Kaioken and second if he did why do you think he didn't use it well it's kind of a very similar question to like if Cell could use a spirit bomb because in the manga he says I can do moves from the Kamehameha all the way to the spirit bomb and you know we we're just looking at Kai again and the English dub for Kai he says you know he can use the Kaioken which is only in the English dub so you know no, it's not in the original material, but you know, I answered this question myself with the spirit bomb in a separate video. Yeah. But with Kaio Ken, it's weird because if he can do the spirit bomb, or at least say he can do it, you know, he's confident at least in his own ability to do it. Um, in the manga, you know, it kind of varies. He says, I may even be able to do the spirit bomb, and there's translations that say that he pretty much straight up can. If he can do that, I mean, I don't see why he wouldn't be able to do Kao Ken and what would stop him. Why would that technique be off limits? I would say that the spirit bomb would be a much more more intensive technique a much more i guess harder technique to utilize just from knowledge i guess if that makes sense then again you know look at trunks and dragon ball super using the freaking spirit bomb sword but <laughs> with kyle ken i just don't see why he wouldn't be able to use it as to why he didn't use it that just comes down to writing i think it just wasn't thought of you know there's a lot of obvious things in the series that just aren't utilized you know there's many times you could say goku should use kyle ken as a super saiyan in the original series uh, even though he obviously did it in the other world tournament filler uh, that was filler it wasn't actually in the manga at any point, but yeah. I mean, he still should have used it as a Super Saiyan master. They never really explained in the Dragon Ball manga itself why he didn't until Dragon Ball Super came around. Right. And that's kind of just like, let's cover our bases, really, even though we forgot. Yeah, so we basically had to use headcanon for the entire time. But really, when you think about it, like, if Cell can use like all of the techniques of the Z fighters that he's comprised of to the right. point where he's eventually able to, I guess, use the instant transmission just when Cell exactly. blows himself up in proximity to Goku, then why wouldn't he be able to use this move? Because, you know, the instant transmission from what we know might have actually taken Goku even longer to learn than the Kaioken, the spirit bomb, because Goku was taking a while to actually get to King Kai's planet on Snake Way. So realistically, if Cell says he can use the spirit bomb, which seemed to be the actual ultimate technique of King Kai, and if he can use the Kamehameha, Kamehameha, if he can use like the Frieza version of the Destructo disc and the multi-form like in the filler, what's really saying that he can't or that he shouldn't be using the Kaioken, especially when right. he has multiple examples of when he could have used it to his own benefit. Exactly, there's no reason why that move would be off limits in my mind. Now Mike, as if he did actually use it, I mean, there can, it can go a lot of ways here. This could be a complicated answer, it could be very simple. Yeah. In terms of Goku, I mean he's still, he's going to beat Goku with or without it, it's not going to matter. Goku would have lost to sell either way we've talked about that in a video if people want to check that out yeah we've discussed that in the video in the past as well but i 
think a lot of people understand that Goku would have lost no matter what. And Kaioken just, I mean, he wouldn't have used it even if he had to. But like when he fought Gohan, obviously that would be a point where he would want to use something like that when Gohan Super Saiyan 2, you know, when Cell buffs up a lot to get more power. Yeah. Like how Trunks did against Cell. Uh, you know, that would be a moment where you would think Cell would use Kao Ken, but it just wasn't written like that. It wasn't thought of. It was oversight. Yeah. And the thing is that there's even other examples throughout Cell before he becomes perfect when he could have used it as well. So when he's playing Piccolo for the first time, you know, he reveals his plan to Piccolo in his typical I'm a bad guy moment from James Bond or whatever the other typical trope is. All right. Let me tell you your whole plan since you're going to die anyways. I'll tell you everything. Yeah. Even though I have regeneration just like you, Piccolo. So I don't know how you forgot about that. But anyway, when Krillin and Trunk showed up and Cell was kind of outmatched, why didn't he just use the Kaioken and just kill everyone there? You know, like it would probably just take a Kaioken times like five and he could wipe them all out. And then when he's fighting against Vegeta, for example, Super Vegeta, when Vegeta is just, you know, totally wrecking Cell and he's in his semi-perfect form, why didn't he use the Kaioken then either? Or why didn't he even use it against uh, Android 16 when 16 had the advantage over him? I mean, if Cell went Kaioken times two, you'd think he'd be able to wreck 16. And you know, Mike, you know, that's just one of those situations where it just depends on what kind of fan you are, I guess. But, you know, some people are going to say the fact that he didn't use it just means he can't. I just say it's an oversight in the writing. Obviously, he still didn't use it. It doesn't make sense why he wouldn't. But as to actually how it would have ended for him, you know, he would have already won. He wouldn't even really need to absorb anyone. If Goku finishes training, you know, it's in our question, depending on how high he can go with Kao Ken. Yeah. But even if he was like semi-perfect, either way, he's going to be perfect. His whole objective is to become perfect. He's going to do that either way. There's no way anyone can beat him. It's just impossible. Exactly. He would just be so overwhelming. The thing is, like, if we're basing it on Goku's cells from just when he fought Vegeta, for example, and we say that the maximum he could push out is like Kaioken times four or five, that would still be so significant of an increase that he would still be able to beat Goku and Vegeta, at least before Goku goes into the chamber. Right. You know, you might be able to say like, you know, things like, oh, you know, he has to practice with it or whatever, um, which he very well could. You know, he's not even going to go super perfect. He's not going to die and come back. I mean, that situation might arise. Yeah. You know, maybe he doesn't go Kao Ken. Well, why would he like self-destruct, you know, if he has Kao Ken? You know, there's no reason for that. Well, that's the thing. If Cell could even do a Kao Ken times 10. Right. You know, then there's an argument that his semi-perfect could have possibly beaten Gohan right then and there, even right. though he was dropped down. And then there is also, for me, I feel like the main reason he didn't use it when he was fighting against Gohan in their Kamehameha clash at the end of the Cell games is because he thought he was going to win. He didn't see any purpose to do it. He does Kao Ken at the end of that. That'd be hype. <laughs> if that was like his life, he's like, I just held it off till now. I mean, if he, uh, with all of his energy gathered, can destroy like the solar system. Yeah. If he goes Kao Ken times 10, what can he blow up? 10 solar systems? You know, like. Yeah. Oh, isn't math and Dragon Ball just the best combination? <laughs> yeah. Especially from this point in Africa. Afterward. Hypothetically, Mike, you know, just to let people know, if Goku on Namek can do times 20, you know, again, whether that's, you know, just because he's trained with Kao Ken, obviously. If Cell could do that in his perfect form times 20 in the Buu Saga, Goku's base probably got about twice as strong just because, you know, we, this is very short power scaling. I don't want to skip a lot of the video, but yeah. just for fun, so people understand this. If Cell could do 20 times Kao Ken as his perfect form, you know, given the fact that Super Saiyan Goku was weaker than Perfect Cell, and given the fact that in the Buu Saga, when Goku fought Vegeta, Goku goes Super saying to Vegeta says, oh, at least you're stronger than your son was against Cell, implying that Goku as a Super Saiyan 2 is stronger than Gohan was when he fought Cell, yeah. but he's not stronger than Gohan when he was Super Saiyan. So what I'm getting at here with multipliers and stupid math is that <laughs> Kaioken times 20 perfect Cell will be stronger than Super Saiyan 3 Goku because what? Super Saiyan 3 is 8 times Super Saiyan 2. Again, math. It's silly. I'm just saying that he would be stronger by math. <laughs> well, let's say that Cell killed everyone and won the Cell games, and I guess maybe left All the I'm Earth around. All I'm saying is that he's strong than Beerus. <laughs> but let's say that Cell, I guess, killed everyone and then he was like, nah, I'll leave the Earth here and just hang out, you know? Or, Let me leave just Goku. Yeah. And say Majin Buu somehow gets revived because either Cell oh, blows oh, up the planet. Oh, he Buu. So you think he would be able to destroy, even if Buu is, say, at full power. Solar Kamameha? Yeah. Times 20? He'd cream him. He'd be melted. He would completely eradicate him. Especially, you know, especially considering the fact that Goku said he could have beaten the Fat Buu if he went all out. So if Goku could do it in a stronger you know, hypothetically stronger Cell could. You know, Cell would pretty much dominate the landscape until Frieza came back. And then, you know, who knows what their interactions would be like. You know, if Filler has anything to say, you know, they'd be friends. <laughs> 
but they wouldn't be stuck in hell together. So it's like, you know, maybe Frieza would just kill him. If Frieza trained for four months and got super strong to the point where he's stronger than Super Saiyan Blue Goku, I mean, just imagine if Cell trained for years until Frieza showed up. And if Android 17 played around with some poachers for 17 years or whatever <laughs> and, and got stronger than Super Saiyan Blue. Yeah, uh. it's, Cell really had such opportunity to be uh, one of the most OP characters in all of fiction, just given like all the stuff we're seeing in Super. I mean, regardless, Cell would probably get so powerful and Beerus would come and kill him at 1% of his power or something because it wouldn't even matter because Beerus is so OP. Not if you want Super Saiyan 4. The thing about Cell is that he's so interesting of a villain just in terms of his techniques, but the problem with him is that he's written in a way where he knows all these techniques that you can't possibly utilize all of them. It's like Boo with the Tournament of Power. I still feel like one of the reasons they just kind of kicked him out and replaced him with Frieza because number one, Frieza is amazing in the Tournament of Power, but number two is it would be so hard to utilize all of his moves and make it, you know, fair for other fighters, really. It would be so hard to kind of cover all the bases with Boo, I think, just because he has so much. He has healing powers and everything. It's crazy. It's also because it just makes it too easy for that character to actually be able to just destroy everyone because with Boo, like, all he has to do is, like, use all of his powers and he can easily throw people out of the ring. He can turn them into chocolate and just chuck he them out. throw the gum around them or whatever. Like, just his stomach. <laughs> yeah, there's so many ways that Boo could be OP in the tournament and there's so many ways Cell could have been and far more OP, but the thing is that these characters are only as smart and capable as they're written by the writers. The whole point of this video, guys, is to let you know that Cell would have been better in the Tournament of Power than Frieza, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, if Cell trained for four days, he'd probably be Jiren level. You know, he'd, he'd be Ultra Instinct <laughs> Cell. Ultra Instinct Cell. Add that card to Dokkan. Yeah, his skin would be silver or something, and uh, he'd be a shiny Pokemon that Nappa would really want to catch. But either way, guys, this has been our video discussing what if Cell used the Kaioken and why he did it? Let us know your own thoughts down below in the comments section. Check out Josh from Dragon Ball Nation in the end card and description. As I always say, stick around because there's a lot more to come in the future. Yeah, even if Cell used the Super Roidal Ken, it would still be no match for me at 1% of my left quadricep. <laughs>